So tonight I've come down to a place called Kimmeridge Bay because there's some interesting rock formations down here that go out to sea. And there's a old World War Two machine gun post that hopefully tonight is going to line up with firstly the setting moon and then after the moon is set uh, the Milky Way and the Milky Way core should be directly behind it if I get the composition right. Um, what I was going to do tonight is hopefully show you how good the Nikon Z5 is for astrophotography. Um, most people would automatically reach for the Z6 or Z6 Mark II but I don't think that the Z5 is that far behind either of those two cameras um, ok the Z5 has only got the CMOS uh, sensor which isn't the latest technology like the Z6's have got which have got the uh, backlit since uh so let's crack on and see what we can do i oh, probably will use the 20 millimeter f1.8 g lens tonight i normally stop it down to f2.5 or 2.8 something like that um, and i might switch to the 40 millimeter f2 as well to get some shots um, I normally have a beer and then take a photo of the beer bottle with the Milky Way in the background. So let's crack on uh, well, with the beer drinking really to start with. So cheers. Oh, that is so good. Right, to the photography. A bit more beer first though. Right, let's go. So I'm going to start off filming this old machine gun World War II pillbox thing. I've put my little orange light in there to light up the inside. I've got my blue light over here on the floor so it lights this side. And I have got a little purple light over here. So it lights up this side. Uh, the moon is directly behind the pillbox and setting at the moment. And the tide's coming in, so it should be good. Let's see what we can do. Got a camera set up over here on the tripod. Obviously the Z5. It's got the 20mm f1.8 G lens on there at the moment. Uh, there's loads of bugs and bats flying around, but let's get some shots going. So hopefully you can see the pillbox all lit up there at the moment. And then if we come back here, hopefully you can see where the Milky Way is going to be over the pillbox at about half past ten. The moon sets at about 20 past 10, so this is the sort of composition I'm going to go for. Um, if it doesn't cloud over like the forecast suggests it should, I might move to the left a little bit to try and get the Milky Way coming directly out of the top of the pillbox. Um, but I have a play around with that. If I do that, I might hide a bit of the core, um, but we'll see how that goes. Right, I've got a little light set up here, just a few percent on. I've got my beer bottle here. 
that old Z5 with the 40mm f2 on there. I'll give that lens a quick clean off before I do anything because it's absolutely filthy. So let's get this shot done. Right, I've had a fantastic evening. I have shot everything from the moon to the Milky Way. I've used everything from F11 to F2. I've shot on ISOs as low as probably 320 and up to 6400. And exposure times from a few seconds up to probably 30 seconds so I shall look at these photos tomorrow you'll have already seen them though because I'll um, have already posted them at appropriate points through the video and then tomorrow while I'm waiting for my curry to be cooked I'll uh, give you a rundown of what I think of the Z5 as far as astrophotography goes so see you tomorrow I don't know if any of that makes any sense, but uh, that's what happens when you don't plan how you're going to do your videos very well. Um, see you tomorrow. Bye. Obviously it's tomorrow now. Um, I'm waiting for my curry to be cooked, so I'll ramble on for a bit while that's going on. Um, obviously I've put the uh, photos I took last night into the video in the appropriate places. Um, so you can see what sort of image quality the Z5 can produce. Obviously, um, astrophotography is about as tough a test as you can give a camera. Um, I do find that with a Z5 sensor it helps if you put a little bit of light into the foreground or do a little light, bit of light painting. Um, it helps minimise noise. Um, I do find that the Z5 sensor does lack a little bit of detail and clarity. It kind of looks a little bit muddy in the shadow sometimes, so putting a bit of light in there really does help. Overall though, I don't think it's bad. It's obviously not as good as the BSI sensor in either Z6 cameras. Um, is it a step up from the Z50 in image quality? In certain aspects it is, in certain aspects it isn't. The Z50 definitely has a more modern sensor because that's backside illuminated and I do feel that you can pull a little bit more detail out of the Z50 images than you can on the Z5 when it comes to low light and shadows. But Overall, you can't complain about the images in, that the Z5 produces. I think they're really good. If you weren't comparing them to anything else, um, you'd be over the moon with it. And I do know I'm being slightly overcritical of it, perhaps. Um, but you'd be the judge of that. You can see the images. Um, the one area where you can obviously see is not that good is the photograph of the beer bottle but then it is literally in a place with zero light and I'm at the only ad the only light I am adding is an LED light that is turned down to 1% um, so that's going to be a struggle for any camera so there you go thank you for watching see you later